Hey guys, it's Alex C with TFP TV and I wanted to make a quick video because I'm not sure if I made a mistake or not. Basically, you guys probably know what's in the box. I actually went to a gun store on my lunch break today and I saw that they had one of these on display. And then I asked if I could take a look at it and I saw that the box said basically on display until August 12, 2016, which is kind of neat because the embargo date, I guess, is today. So I wanted to make a quick video about that. So let's take a look inside. And you guessed right, it is the Remington R51. This is basically a modern version of the old Model 51. It was designed by John Pedersen. It uses an interesting lock called a hesitation lock. I've done a video on my original that I'll link to in the description, but these guns are actually old news. If you remember, they released these a while back, but they recalled all of them because they were not running right. Things like the rear sights were not on there properly um, or staked on or whatever. So I was actually very surprised when I saw that my local gun store had one. So this is actually the first time I've taken it out of the box. I handled the display model at the store. And voila, there we are. It, uh, it's got all that new factory grease on there. And I must say, it feels quite good and it handles very well so far, but based on the one I handled at the, at the store. Uh, the rear sight is on there. There's actually a, a retaining Allen key in there now, which is good. And you can see the breech block doing its thing because as these are lock breech hesitation lock guns that is really cool um, and it is a very modernized version of the old model 51 of course you got two magazines in the box and it is chambered in nine millimeter luger so i must say i i really like this thing the trigger is, is actually one of the things that sold me on it i knew that these had a rough reputation um, it was under 400 dollars in the store which is great so if it doesn't work, I'll send it back to Remington and uh, yeah, let them deal with it. Okay, so I'm going to weigh the Model 51, or R51 rather. That's uh, 628 grams, one pound, six ounces. Um, so yeah, that, that is with the magazine in. Now, the original model, which mind you is chambered in 32 ACP, at least this model, they came in 32 and 380. Uh, one pound, 5.2, uh, 602 grams. So, to compare the original versus the new hotness, they actually really, really look a lot alike, obviously. Um, <laughs> they actually handle a lot alike, too. You'll notice the the contours are very similar. They both have the same uh, grip uh, safety on there. Magazine releases in the same spot. The original did not have a slide catch slash uh, slide release. However, it is a lot, it feels thinner. I want to say it feels uh, a little daintier. The new one, obviously being a nine millimeter instead of a 380 or 32 is beefed up significantly, but not overall a much bigger gun relative to the increase in caliber. So that is pretty cool, guys. Basically, the I guess the embargo date was today. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video, get it up, show this thing off, and hopefully do some shooting with it this weekend. It might rain this weekend, but I hope to put at least 500 rounds through this as soon as I possibly can. That way you guys can see if it's worth buying or not, if they fix the problems, or if they didn't. If they didn't, then I'll also report that back as well. Oh, also, I forgot one more thing. I also bought a brand new inbox Galil Ace to test for you guys and uh, give it the same treatment, hopefully 500 to 1,000 rounds very quickly. So I'll give it a full review with accuracy and things like that. Not AK Operators Union style ultimate 5,000 round death challenge, but uh, hopefully something that you guys can uh, look at and determine if it's the right gun for you. But it is kind of weird today. I bought the R51, which is a modern version of an old gun I have. And then I bought this gun, which is a modern version of an old gun I have. So gun companies have figured out how to make us buy the guns that we already have. <laughs> but really guys, thanks for watching this quick video. Not sure if I made a mistake or not. I know the Galil Ace runs like a scalded ape. I've shot one. Um, I've seen some reviews already that are positive, but hope to report back. Big thanks to Ventura Munitions for helping us out with the cost of ammo for this kind of thing as well. Without them, this would really be damaging to our pocketbooks. Thanks everybody.